What's up guys, this is iTweaks here with iPhoneHacks.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your new iPhone 6 or iPhone 6 Plus. Now it's actually a pretty simple step-by-step -step tutorial done by Apple, but I'm going to go ahead and walk you through it just in case you do have any issues or you want to know what anything is. So we're going to go ahead and swipe across right here and it's going to bring you to the language screen. So go ahead and tap on whatever language that you uh, are native speaking and mine is English so we're going to go ahead and tap on that and then right here we have select our country or region so you can scroll through here select your country mine is the United States so I'm going to go ahead and tap on that and then here is where you're going to select your Wi-Fi network so if you were to connect to any of these networks uh, you could just tap on it and then enter the password once you enter the password then you're good to go so if I were to tap on this you would just enter the password right here and then tap join and then it's going to connect to that network. So I'm going to tap cancel because I'm actually already connected to this network right here. And then we're going to tap next. So when we tap next, we get another screen for location services. So you're probably going to want to enable location services. You can see right here that it's going to allow apps like maps and services like spotlight suggestions to gather and use data indicating your approximate location, which is pretty good. I mean, you're probably at some point going to want to know where something is and directions to it so if you want that then you're probably going to want to enable location services so I'm gonna go ahead and tap on enable location services and this next screen is to set up the iPhone so you have three options right here you can set up as a new iPhone you can restore from iCloud backup or you can restore from iTunes backup now before we actually get into this let me go ahead and mention that if you have an issue with the sim card and it says you don't have a sim card installed then obviously you're going to have to put in a sim card into your device now the new iPhones will probably come with a new SIM card, so if it's not activated, it's possible you will have to call AT&T or Verizon or whoever and activate that SIM card if it's not activated. Now, if you do have a working SIM card, you can always replace it and put it into this phone, and it's going to work as long as it's a nano SIM. So now that I've said that, let's go ahead and set this up as a new iPhone. You can always, again, restore from iCloud backup or restore from iTunes backup. But we're going to set this one up as a new phone. Now here you're going to enter your Apple ID. So if you don't have an Apple ID, if this is your first iPhone, then you can create an Apple ID right here. Now if you don't want to do that at all, you can always just skip this step. But I'm going to go ahead and sign in with my Apple ID right here. And then once you do, just go ahead and tap Next. All right, so now that I've entered my Apple ID and password, it brings you to the terms and conditions. So you're going to have to tap on agree, and then you're going to get a pop-up right here that's going to tell you to agree to the terms and conditions. So go ahead and agree right there. I do recommend reading that. I never have, but again, it is there for your protection so you know exactly what they're taking, what they're using and everything so if you can see right here we also have another splash screen that says it may take a few minutes to set up your Apple ID so go ahead and give it a few minutes it usually doesn't take too long for me as you can see right here we're already at the iCloud screen so here is where you're going to decide if you want to use iCloud or not use iCloud so right here it says iCloud is gonna let you access your music photos contacts and calendars and more on all of your devices automatically so I always use iCloud if you don't want to use iCloud you can always have that option so you can tap on that but in my case I am going to use iCloud so I can have access to this all this good stuff right here on my devices and then right here we have find my iPhone so you can see right up here if you read the first sentence it says find my iPhone is automatically enabled when you use iCloud so find my iPhone is basically going to allow you to locate your device if you've lost it you can even if it was stolen delete all the content on it in case you know you're not going to get your device back so I definitely recommend using find my iPhone it's a free service and it's really there's no downside to installing it or using it so we're going to tap next right here and then we're going to see iCloud Drive so these two options right here upgrade to iCloud Drive or not now now this is actually in beta so I wouldn't recommend upgrading to iCloud Drive if you don't know what it is or how it works or anything like that just because Again, it's a beta, so you're going to see bugs, and I really don't recommend, if you're watching this video, to walk through the tutorial of setting up your device, you don't need to upgrade to iCloud Drive. So we're going to go ahead and tap Not Now, and then it says, are you sure you don't want to upgrade to iCloud Drive? Tap Continue, and then it's going to update the iCloud settings. So we'll give it just a minute here to do that. And then you can see we're going to our Touch ID. So what you want to do is just use the finger that you're going to unlock your device the most with. And you can set up to five fingers on this. But right now we're just going to use my thumb. So you can go ahead and just start pressing your thumb. And you want to put it in different locations so it gets your entire fingerprint. Because you're not always going to tap on the home button in the exact same spot with your finger. 
So go ahead and do that until the entire red fingerprint is full. And it should go ahead and fill up pretty soon, I would think. Maybe one more. All right, finally. Okay, so now you're going to adjust your grip. So what you want to do is just put it in your other other hand maybe and then just do the exact same thing again. So we're just going to tap continue and then start the process over. And again, you're going to be using the same finger for this setup. So go ahead and use your thumb again if you use your thumb the first time. All right, so now we're complete and it says touch ID is ready and your print can be used for unlocking the iPhone. So go ahead and tap continue and then you're going to create a password. So I don't ever usually use my password as a uh, way to protect my device, which you probably should. So go ahead and enter whatever passcode that you like. I usually just use 1111. So if you find my phone somewhere, you can probably get into my device. Now it says, are you sure you want to use this code? This code is commonly used and can be easily guessed. So of course you can always change it or you can use the code. So I'm just going to use the code and then it says re-enter your passcode. So I'll just go ahead and type that in one more time. And then you'll get a loading dial right up here at the top. And it asks you if you want to use your iCloud keychain. So to set up your iCloud keychain on this phone, approve it from one of your other devices using iCloud keychain or use your iCloud security code. So if you have another device and you want to approve this from another device, then you can just tap on that. If you want to use the iCloud security code, then you can tap on that. If you don't want to restore your passwords, you can tap right here. So I'm not going to restore my passcodes just for this setup. So we're going to go ahead and tap on that. And it says, are you sure, basically? And we're just going to tap continue. And now right here, it asks, do you want to use Siri? Of course you want to use Siri. Who doesn't want to use Siri? I want to use Siri, so we're going to tap on that. Also, diagnostics. Do you want to automatically send diagnostic and usage data over to Apple, or do you not want to send that information over to Apple? Which I never do, so I'm going to tap. Well, let's go back. I never send that over, so I'm going to tap do not send. Now, right here is something unique to the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. This is the display zoom. So you want to choose your view. So you can see right here, this is a standard look. And right here is a zoom to look. So if you use the zoom to look, it's going to look more like the iPhone 5, iPhone 5S, and it's going to give you all those icons much larger on the screen. Now you can see right here with the standard view, you actually get an extra row right down here in the application icons are actually smaller. So you're gonna choose your view. We'll just tap on that and then you can get a better look at what this is going to look like. So this is a standard view and that's the zoomed view. So I like to use the standard view. So we're gonna go ahead and tap next and then it says welcome to your iPhone. So once you tap get started, you are unlocked to your iPhone. It's completely set up and then you can enjoy all the awesome things that your new iPhone can do. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. All right, guys, until next time, this is iTweaks with iPhoneHacks.com.